Attention Pixel owners, if you own a Google Pixel 6 or Google Pixel 6 Pro, Android 13 Stable is out. Officially today, it's August the 15th, and you can go ahead and download the stable version of Android 13. Now, as many of you know, I've been using the beta version of Android 13 for a while, and I can tell you that the stable version, which I'm running here, and I'll show you the build number, uh, this stable version of Android 13 isn't that different, to be honest, from Android 12 or Android 13 beta, which I was running. Here's the baseband version and the version of Android running, the build number, TP1A, whatever it is, that number at the bottom, if you guys care about that kind of stuff. Now, many of the really helpful tweaks that we had in Android 13 beta have made it over here, and one of my favorite tweaks that you guys should check out is the editable uh, clipboard. So now when you have things in clipboard, you can go ahead and edit what that selection was. You can make changes to it. This is great if you need to copy paste stuff or maybe make some corrections or maybe make some tweaks to whatever you're trying to copy and paste. Another new update in Android 13 stable, which you guys should check out, is the granularity of being able to go ahead and close some of your background apps. So here I have a podcast playing in the background. I have the notification in my quick pull down settings. One app is active stop the background app and the app is stopped. Now, in all fairness, I have noticed that it is really, really aggressive about auto closing apps in the background. I've had Spotify stop a couple of times and I don't know if this is just Google's new algorithm. Maybe I need to reset the device so that it can relearn which apps to go ahead and be aggressive with in regards to killing and not, but it's worth noting that Android 13 seems to be making a push towards better battery life. As the fingerprint scanner, there's supposedly some new tweaks to the algorithm and let's try this again. I mean, I never really had problems with the fingerprint scanner on the Pixel 6 in the first place. And also, guys, I'm actually filming this video on the Pixel 6a. What is the video quality like of the IMX363? I look like it looks pretty decent, actually. But so here's the fingerprint scanner. Uh, I would say that this fingerprint scanner is average, but it works totally fine. I definitely think that there's a bit of an improvement in Android 13, but it's not a game-changing update. Something that is pretty neat in the camera app is the integration of Google Lens in the viewfinder. This is something that I just discovered. You can go ahead and use Google Lens like immediately within the camera. It makes it so, so simple. Let's go ahead and activate it. There we go. To go ahead and just make Google Lens easily accessible. Let's try it here with my S20 Plus case. And there we go, visual, ash, visual match for UAG S21 Plus case, guys. This is, this is pretty great, to be honest with you, with how well it's been integrated into the natural camera app, into your regular camera app. You're more likely to use it. Are you someone that actively uses Google Lens or not? Personally, myself, I'm not a huge Google Lens user, but this makes it a lot more accessible, and I think I'm going to start using it more. Now, something I've noticed, and I'm not sure if this is specific to Android 13, but it's the adaptive connectivity settings. And I'll, let me show you guys what that uh, what that is. It's under network, and it extends battery life, improves device performance by automatically managing your network connections. So on the Google Pixel 6a, which I'm recording this video on, I have the Google Find network. On this device, I have AT&T. And I have noticed when I am taking uh, WhatsApp calls, Telegram calls, etc., going back and forth between my Google Fi and my Spectrum internet here at the house, this handover is a lot more seamless. And when I am doing that, I seem to have really, really good uh, performance in regards to not dropping that call and it like connecting to the new network really fast. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this is something that's just new in Android 13, if I'm just recently like experiencing it because I have Google Fi. If you guys use Google Fi, let me know. Um, also, 
In regards to the Pixel 6a that I'm using the filmless right now, I do not have the Android 13 stable update yet. I have not gotten the notification of it. If you have a Google Pixel 6 or Google Pixel 6a, comment down below if you guys have updated to Android 13 yet, if you're using the beta previously, etc. And until next time, it's been Mitchell. Peace.